Okay guys, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to fix that noise right there. Yeah! What's up guys? Thank you guys so much for tuning back to the channel. As always, like you guys saw, today we are gonna be replacing the window regulator and throwing some new speakers in the front door of my 2000 Jeep Cherokee, Cher Cherokee XJ. She's been needing this ever since I got her a couple years ago, but I've just been putting it off and I finally ordered the right part to fix it. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle that. First thing first though, let's go ahead and unbox all the goodies and show you guys what exactly we'll need. Okay guys, so we ended up getting, picking up some Kenwood 300 watt speakers off Amazon. Super cheap, they should be good quality. The Sport Series, yeah, they should be good. And here is the new window regulator. I'm gonna pop that open. And there is the new window regulator. Now guys, this should be a pretty easy install. The biggest pain is gonna be taking the door panels off. So we went ahead and got some new push pins to hook the panel back into the door. These were only a couple bucks. Speaker's probably 50 bucks. And the actual regulator is like 50 bucks. So it shouldn't be too hard, but let's go ahead, pull the Mustang up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and start popping the door panel off of my Jeep after we get it pulled in here. So let's do it. Okay guys, first thing is first, we're gonna go ahead and take this panel off. All it is is a couple Phillips bolts right here. Uh, there's one Phillips right here and the plugs for the uh, controls. Nothing too, too crazy. Put you guys on time lapse and we'll get this thing off. Okay guys, after you get those couple bolts out, we're gonna take our panel pry bar. You can just use a screwdriver, but I've got this and just pop all the panel off. So, put you guys back on, let's do it. And after you got this thing flapped off, you're gonna wanna pick it up off of the groove inside. we put the camera right here. And you'll see that it will just kind of shimmy off. You're gonna want to unplug the two rods connected to the lock and the two sets of wires that are right here. Uh, so once you do that, the handle just comes off super easy. We'll set this to the side. Try not to break because we will need that later. Now guys, after that, we're gonna go ahead and peel this little insulator off. And while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and pop the stock speaker off. All it is is two Phillips right here and right here. And then this thing will just pop right out. All right, we just kind of broke it off. But hey, these are old. As you guys can see, these are the stock speakers. They've held up for a good time now, but it's time for something better. Set it off to the side too. And now we have full access to the regulator itself. So we went ahead and rolled the window up just to give us a little bit more clearance. So make sure you guys do that before at home. There's a bolt here, there's two bolts here, there's two bolts here. And then there's one push pin right here. And all these bolts do is you loosen them up and they slide out the bigger holes. So you guys can see here, it slides out the bigger hole. Also guys, I went ahead and put a piece of tape on top of the window up here. So the window, whenever you unbolt it, cause there's two bolts inside for the window we have to take out, it doesn't fall down. So make sure you guys do that at home or chalk it up somehow so where it's not gonna fall out. Okay, all these bolts are tens. So you got the 10 mil adapter on the old D-wall and Go ahead and start taking these things out. And then whenever we get all the bolts out, we're supposed to be able to twist this to the side and this whole system inside will easily come out this way. So I'll put you guys on time lapse. Hopefully you guys can see that happen. Nice. Okay, so guys, a good note, whenever you're taking the window off, there's two bolts going into the window. It's a lot easier to lower it down to here, undo the bolts, and then pick the window up 
and then tape it back. It made it a lot easier to get in there, but the rest of it was pretty easy. I went ahead and just took all the bolts out because we're going to be putting new ones in anyway to put the whole thing in, but it just rotates out. It should be really easy to put the new one in, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot, and you guys will see right now, so let's do it. we've got the new window regulator all hooked up. It's a pretty simple job as you guys saw. Let's go ahead and hook the, the panel up and see if it works. Let's see? And... Perfect. It works perfect. There's no more grinding on the way down. The auto down works perfect. That is awesome. That is a sweet install. Now let's go ahead and put the speakers in this side and we should be almost done. So we'll go ahead and open our Kenwoods out of here. Actually put these same speakers in the red XJ I had a while ago. We are not going to need the covers for them so we'll probably save those for later. But these are just gonna go right there like so. We'll just self tap some new holes in for them and get some connectors for the wires which should be set. So let me go grab some connectors and some wire snips. So guys, we got the new speakers kind of wired in for right now. We're gonna make sure they work right. Yep. So they, they work. That is awesome. They actually sound pretty good too. All right, guys, they work. We'll go ahead, button this up, put those in there, and we should be good to go to put these back on. All right, you guys, so next up, we have these speakers installed. They work perfect. We have to do that to the other side, but I'll do that in a minute. Next, we need to put the new retainer clips on the door panel and take off the old ones here. So I'm just gonna take that same uh, pry bar and just get underneath them, and they will just pop out. So next, we take the new pins, and all they are are these little push pins sure you can see it in the back that right there slides in here so let me show you you'll see right here the pins just slide into the grooves <laughs> shut up just slide right into the holes so guys we'll go ahead and put all these on around the whole panel and i'll be right back So the window is in. The new pan, the new regulator works. It doesn't make noise, but and the auto roll down works, so we don't have that loud, cranky noise anymore. The new speakers work. Everything's hooked back up, so that is awesome. Super easy install. Very, very successful. I'm very happy about it, and it's pretty cheap too. So while you're in there, you might as well replace your speakers, because. Most of you guys haven't replaced them yet, <laughs> like me. So I won't film the other side because it's because the speaker over there is pretty self-explanatory. It's the same process here. Let me talk to you guys in one second. Okay, guys. So it only took about 10 minutes to get the speaker in, so not too bad. I guess that's it for today's video. The camera's about to die. This is a really short, quick, simple install. If you guys have this problem at home, it's really easy. Don't dread it. You can fix it literally. It's been maybe 30 minutes. And I've done all this, so I was really thinking this video is going to be a lot longer than this. But Jeeps are easy to work on. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, the Jeep cables I put in the last video are working perfect. They, they're definitely making it run and idle a lot better than it was before. So that's awesome. Big shout out to Paul Jeep Cables. I really appreciate you sending me that stuff, man. It's just, I really do appreciate it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We have a lot of cool projects coming up. Man, we got some Jeep stuff coming up on the way. But I got the two big things I want to get done recently. Um, we do need to get this thing ready for maybe a road trip coming up. So stay tuned for that. That should be interesting. I think it really needs a coyote in it. So if you guys want to like this video and subscribe so we can afford that one day, I'd really appreciate it because we're still rocking that stock 5.0. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys a ton.
As always, deuces. <laughs>